First thing I'm gonna do, after I put the filter paper in, I'm gonna rinse the filter. So this does two things. Gets my filter wet and rinsed, but it also warms up my vessel to essentially what's gonna be my brew temperature. All right, I have the Chemex set up on a scale. I've teared the weight of the vessel and the paper, so it's reading zero. I'm gonna put 25 grams of relatively coarse ground coffee into that filter. Once I've got the 25 grams of coffee in, I'm gonna tear everything again. So my scale's reading zero, and then I'm gonna start brewing. But the first step is I'm gonna wet the ground, I'm gonna let them bloom. My entire brew time is gonna be measured from the start of my bloom time. So what I'm doing here is I'm adding essentially two times the weight of the coffee in water to the dry ground. Let the coffee bloom anywhere between 30 to 45 seconds. And the reason you're allowing any bloom at all, or you're taking this moment to pause, is you need the coffee to essentially release the trapped gases that are in the grounds. We're extracting sort of the coffee, if you will, creating the cup from the surface of the ground. So if the coffee is outgassing very dramatically while you're trying to run water across the surface of that coffee, it's going to essentially be pushing the water away and barring you from creating any sort of extraction from that coffee. So once it's bloomed, this is fresh coffee, we let it bloom for 45 seconds. What we're gonna do now is pour the rest of our brew water in. We're gonna go up to 350 grams, but we're gonna do it in a pulsed manner. You wanna start a little slowly to let the bed get established. You don't wanna do anything too dramatic. You wanna pour in a nice concentric circle about the size of a quarter, maybe a little tighter. Never around the edges, never on the edge of the paper. Just pour slowly and controlled and that quarter circumference. And you don't want to fill up all the head space in the filter. You want to fill it up to about half to three quarters. So once you get to that mark, what you're going to do is you're going to wait, let's say 15 to 20 seconds, and then you're going to go back and you're going to dose it again. So now I'm at a minute 30 and I'm going to add probably another 50 grams of water. So now I'm at almost two minutes. I've got about 200 and 10 grams in my system. Again, I'm letting it drain out, but never let it drain out so that the bed goes dry. I'm gonna slowly pour again in a nice quarter size concentric circle. So the goal is, is I want all my water to be added probably around 230, 245, so that this system will be done brewing and drip out between three and a half and four minutes. So now we're about 350 in exactly. I'm just gonna let the system drip out. We want it to be done, again, between three and a half and four minutes. If it drips out too quickly, so if all of a sudden it would just drip out in three minutes, it means our, our ground, our particle size, the ground coffee is too coarse and we need to fine it up. If it takes longer than four minutes, it means our coffee, our ground particle size is too fine and we need to coarsen it up. So right now we're at almost three and a half minutes. We can see now our bed is completely dry. It's gonna be dripping out probably for another 15, 20 seconds. So the thing about the bed is, you don't want a lot of coffee up on the sides, and you want your bed to be as flat as possible. This is a pretty good representation. It's a little bit dipped in the middle, but you want a nice flat bed because that means you're gonna get a nice even extraction, and you, want your, you don't want coffee all the way up on the walls because once the water line goes down, the extraction is finished. So you wanna be extracting through the coffee and you don't want the coffee everywhere but essentially in the bed. So once you're done brewing, it starts to drip, you know you're finished, you just take your paper filter, you can do two things with it. You can throw it in the garbage or you can start developing a compost pile. Just give the Chemex a swirl just to make sure everything's sort of combined together. Once you've poured it in your cup or your carafe, to actually give it a, give it a bit to cool, I'd say, maybe 35, 40 seconds, especially with a lighter roasted coffee. I think you're gonna find the cup to be a lot more flavorful, a lot more thoughtful, a lot richer.